Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Your back actress, Rita Williams, is enjoying every bit of her new engagement and reviews while well, she has been making positive decisions. She has been one of the celebrities that has been very vocal on social media. And for Faith here, you should surround yourself with positive people and let their bright emotions make your day unforgettable. You can't make positive choices for the rest of your life without an environment that makes those choices easy, natural, and enjoyable. Life is about making an impact, changing things and leaving things better than you found them. And for faith here, every day, you need to remind yourself that even if life is full of obstacles, you can always overcome the challenges with a beautiful smile. To the astonishment of many, Fatia Williams got engaged again at the age of 51. Her boyfriend proposed to her during a birthday celebration in Istanbul in Turkey. This beautiful actress celebrated her 51st birthday on February 5th, 2020 with her friends. She was formerly married to the veteran actor Saeed Balogo. And she also confessed that her failed marriage to Saeed Balogo was actually the biggest down of her life. And in our words, I've gone through a lot of downs, but the biggest one I'll say that took my feet will be marriage crash. And of course, she still has a relationship with her ex-husband Saeed Balogo because they have to attend to their kids. They have two lovely kids together and also attend to some family issues together. Fatia Williams has three lovely children in total. She had one child from her first marriage and two kids with Saeed Balogo. And also coincidentally, these two Yoruba veterans actually were born on the same date. They share the same birthday. Also, for so many years, Fatia Williams Balogo decided to concentrate on her kids. She revealed that she rather decided to focus on her kids and not getting married again for that long period of time. So we are saying congratulations to Fita Williams as she's enjoying every bit of her new engagement. Also, Fita Williams is set to walk down the aisle very soon. Who is Fita Williams? Fita Williams used to go by the name Fatia Balogo. Balogo is the name she adopted after her marriage to the veteran actor Saeed Balogo. And her full name is Fatia Akurede Aduni. She was born on February 5th in 1969 in Ikeja in Lagos State, even though she is originally from Okpara in Delta State. Fatia Williams attended Maryland Primary School and Maryland Comprehensive High School in Lagos State, where she obtained the West African School Certificate before she proceeded to Kwara State Polytechnic, where she received a Diploma Certificate. Coincidentally as well, Saeed Balogo also attended Kwara State Polytechnic. I hold this Fatia Balogo. As mentioned earlier, she was born on February 15, 1969. So she's currently 51 years old, but then she's aging Beautiful. She has started produced and directed several Yoruba movies, including Farayola, Awawu, Afisuru, Ori, Omo Umi, Omo Brikito, Omo Sheparo, Baserabadia, Cholarikusa, Yalalake, among others. Feta Williams is also a multiple award winning actress. She is one of the top actresses we have in the industry. In 2008, she won the African Movie Academy Award for the Most Outstanding Actress. Also, even amidst this COVID-19, she won the Award of Entertainment Entrepreneur of the Year by Nigerian Women Achievers Awards. She took to her social media platform to thank Fatia Squad for voting and making this happen. Despite the COVID-19, in April 2014, she won the African Movie Academy Award having emerged as Best Actress of the Year. Also, Fatia Williams Balogun won the Best Indigenous Language Yoruba Award for the work done in the film Yalalake at the 2015 African Magic VR Choice Awards, AMVC. She is indeed an outstanding actress with or without her award. This outstanding actress, did she ever have any challenge at all? Of course she did. At the beginning of her career, the task of growing up experience-wise and handling the fame of becoming a recognizable star with some of the hurdles she had to cross back then. She said that in spite of all, she stood standing. And then thanks to the Almighty God, she has been relevant for decades now in the movie industry. Fatia Williams is familiar with the system and she takes anything that she comes across as a challenge. Then she takes up the challenge and delivers her role to the best of her ability. And then she also revealed in her words in an interview. I believe that is what you call taking it in your stride. And for this actress, she does not consider any role to be awkward or strange. Because every role is meant to show exactly how it happens in the real world and positively influence the viewers. For Fatia, we are just acting. And also the project that she has been very proud to be involved with. 
was that program, Super Story, The Face of the Seat, which was a nationwide television program. She had to play the role of an aged woman for the very first time. And for her, that was very interesting. She had a great time doing it. So many people wonder, how does Fatia relax? Well, she relaxes by sleeping and watching movies as well. She also relaxes by rehearsing her scripts, the ones she has written or the ones that she has been contracted to do. For Fatia Balogo, the kind of music she listens to are juju and high life music, specifically King Sonia Day's Jazzy Blues. So what has made Fatia interesting in this career ever since she joined the movie industry? Well, she thinks it is because of the love she has for the job. Because at any time at all she's on set, she's always happy. She's also one of the Nigerian actors who see Nigerian movie industry in the next couple of years competing with other top movie making continents, countries and industries. She's also the kind of person that wants to be remembered for her good works and she wants to give her best to them and she wants to always give her best to her fans at all time. Apart from being an actress, Fatia Williams also launched a performance training academy, Powerhouse of Performing Arts. This actress took to her social media platform a while ago to announce Powerhouse of Performing Arts, a place where several talents can be discovered and nurtured. The actress also shared the logo with the caption, I've always wanted to help people discover their talents and not sure you to bring out the best in them. There are several hundreds of people with a flair and talent for acting, directing, costuming, special effects, makeup, set design and so on, but don't have the right platform or avenue to help showcase what they've got to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby introduce to you Fatia Balogun's powerhouse of performing arts, a place where several talents can be discovered and nurtured a home of several opportunities. This was what she announced. Also, because of her conduct and the way she carries herself, in 2016, it was specifically on June 26, 2016, this actress was conferred with a chieftaincy title at a ceremony held at the Nigerian Railway Corporation at Ibutumeta in Lagos State. She was conferred with a chieftaincy title named the Atesinshe Adini. A lot of celebrities were in attendance. And this title is said to be in connection with the way Fatia Williams presents the good image of Islam in her conduct. Also, this mom of three went to Mecca, Saudi Arabia, to observe the Muslim Hajj pilgrimage. Hajj, as prescribed by Allah, is one of the five pillars of Islam, and Muslims are encouraged to make this journey at least once in a lifetime, provided they have the means to do so. So once again, congratulations to Fatia Williams on her newfound love and also on her journey to giving marriage another chance. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let's one or two new things subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.